So I've had my Eulobox Ultra for a few days now. I've been testing it out at home and on shoots before the shoots, not on actual um, paid jobs as of yet, because it's still relatively new, so I want to put it through its paces first. Something that I noticed uh, that was mentioned on one of the Facebook groups, I think just the official Yolo Life Facebook group, um, link below, was the ability to use a touchscreen monitor with the Eulobox Ultra. I think someone in the group had tried it, but there was limited functionality. The the top and bottom of the screen wasn't um, wasn't working. You could you, the touch um, controls weren't working at the top and the bottom of the screen. I think Frank from Yolo Live mentioned that might be something to do with the aspect ratio because the screen on the Yolo box is 1920 by 1200, an aspect ratio of 16 by 9, whereas the screen um, on most portable monitors is 16 by 9, 1920 by 1080. So that got me thinking, well, if you, what happens if you plug in a 16 by 10, a 1920 by 1200 uh, touchscreen monitor? So let's give that a try. So here we have the Yolobox Ultra. It's already booted up and I've just got a, I don't have any cameras plugged in, but I've just got a countdown timer going here. And this is just a generic USB-C um, touch monitor from Amazon. Uh, it's 1920 by 1200, a 16 by 10 aspect ratio, which matches the aspect ratio and the resolution of the Yolobox Ultra. This is just the standard USB-C cable that came with the monitor. Let's plug it in. So it'll send power and hopefully it'll send video. There we go. So that's off to a good start. So we're sending the video from the Yolobox to this USB-C monitor and power from the Yolobox to the USB-C monitor just using the uh, USB-C cable and it appears that the touch screen is fully functional this is a uh, this is good news this is quite exciting uh, I can see quite a lot of benefits for this. Um, yeah, this is, you know, a 14 inch or a 15 inch um, USB-C monitor. Where am I going? This way. Uh, that I got from Amazon. I'll put the link below. Wasn't expensive. It was under a hundred pounds. I think it was 95 or 99 pounds. Yeah, this gives you secondary control of your Yolo box. Someone at the AV desk could be sitting with this monitor controlling the live stream or helping you control the live stream while you still have this, uh, you know, maybe mounted to your camera or mounted to your tripod um, or vice versa. Maybe maybe as a, as a, as a one-man band, maybe you want the bigger monitor with you, but you've got, you've got someone helping you run the stream over here. Yeah, this is, a, this is quite exciting. Um, I, uh, I also have here a Yolobox Pro and a Yolobox Mini. Let's see if it works with that. So we'll unplug from the Ultra and we'll plug in to the Yolobox uh, Pro. So it sends power. But no... Oh! Ah, that's interesting. So... So the touch functionality does work, but it's not sending the signal. Hmm. That's, uh... That's interesting. I wonder if there's... I wonder if there's a workaround for that. Um... Oh, I guess not. Um, and the Mini doesn't actually have a Type-C port other than the uh, the power source. And I believe this USB-A here is just an input, so that's not going to work. Um, and therefore I would assume the, um, the, the OG Yolo box won't work. So first glance, a very unscientific test, but a touchscreen USB-C monitor doesn't work with the uh, 
doesn't work with the Yolo Box Pro. It doesn't work with the Yolo Box Mini. However, with the new Yolo Box Ultra, I'll just plug in again. Sends power. I'll send the signal. And we have what appears to be full function of the Yolo Box. Back to the main page. Yeah. This is cool. Very much looking forward to, to implementing that on jobs. Let me know your thoughts on that, guys. Is that something that you would use with your Yolo Box? Uh, let me know in the comments, and I will catch you in the next video.